Welcome to livingpianos.com. I'm Robert Estrin. And today I'm going to give you top five piano lesson fails. Now, I just want to say right from the get-go that I love teaching and I appreciate the hard work all my students do. And I've got students all around the world. I, I counted it up on my schedule yesterday. I've got students in 11 different countries, which is kind of mind-boggling, the world we live in, that such a thing is even possible. And I appreciate the time everybody makes to practice and diligently uh, attend lessons. So with all, in all due respect, I'm going to give the top five piano lesson fails. OK, one of them, a student comes in, and as soon as it gets to repeat sign, they turn over and say, oh, did you want me to go on? Or you want me to repeat it? <laughs> And I, I always kind of chuckled inside because, you know, make a decision, you know. I'm happy with either one, frankly, but it's really nice to be able to go on when you get to the repeat sign or take the repeat so that you have the continuity of the repeat or the continuity of going to the next section. But that's a heck of a time to ask whether you should go on or not. Make a decision or ask beforehand if you're really not sure. Okay, here's another one for you. Um, you go through an entire lesson and you're getting, you know, some good things done and, and, you know, then the lesson's over and then, you know, I'm checking my email just a few minutes later and there's an email with like a bunch of questions. It's like, oh my gosh, I just got done with this whole piano lesson and now after the lesson, when there's not going to be another lesson for another week, are all these questions. Now, I am always happy to answer questions and email. I mean, that's, that's what I'm, I'm available for that, and I encourage that. But, you know, obviously, during the course of the lesson, these questions could be answered much more thoroughly with a back and forth kind of communication that emails don't allow for. So if you have questions during the course of a lesson, tell your teacher, ask your teacher. That's what they're there for, to answer all your questions. So make sure that you take opportunity to Ask your teacher at the lesson anything that you at all that is important to you. Okay, um, this is something that uh, some students are sometimes guilty of. You you you're you get busy during the course of the week, and you only have a few days left before your lesson, so you just start cramming through everything, trying to get as far as you can. And then you come into the lesson, and right from the get-go, it's like nothing is solid. From the very first phrase, everything is, is kind of muddy and sloppy. Now, this is a real problem for you as a student. Why? Because now you've just spent all this time, you know, solidifying sloppy playing, and undoing that is much, much harder than just learning a smaller part really well. Your teacher will appreciate the thorough good work that you do, even if it's a small section, rather than have a whole bunch of music that isn't on a high level. So don't worry, your teacher understands. Believe me, my life gets so busy, it's hard for me to find time to practice. So I understand, I get it. And I'm sure your teachers are understanding in that respect also. Cramming doesn't work on the piano. Here's another one for you. Uh, and I hope I'm not hurting anybody's feelings with these. That's not my intention. <laughs> but hopefully you find it helpful. Uh, the next one is starting a piece and, oh yeah, you're gung-ho, so you start at a nice fast tempo and immediately start slowing down and slowing down and get a little further and slowing down more and slowing down more and, and finally you get to the just where you just got up to and it stops. <laughs> well, this isn't really very helpful for you because you must find a tempo to start at the point, uh, you know, the, the lowest common denominator. You know, if you can't play the measure 12 at the tempo that you're starting, you're in trouble. Now, if it's a long piece and, you know, there's a repeat section after the double bar, you know, you, you don't know that as well, and you want to stop at a certain point and say, I don't know this part as well, so I'm going to take it slower, that's perfectly understandable. You don't want to necessarily take it all drastically under tempo if you've got some of it at a good clip. But if you're going to keep slowing down the whole time, this does not really help you. You want to get used to playing at one tempo. All right, the last one is 
uh, your teacher asks you to start on start on measure 47, uh, the development section, whatever it is. And so you start on measure 47, and you get to, to one or two measures, and you stop and uh, say, do you want me to go on? Kind of like the repeat thing, but this in this case, there's no repeat or anything. It's just that they ask you to start in a certain place for some reason you think they didn't want you to play more than that one measure. Now, I will say this, and so often with my students, I have them play one specific section, and I'll be unstruck, because this is the, the, actually the flip side of this one, is I say only play up to the first note of measure uh, 50, and that's it, up to this note. And then, of course, it's very hard for students to stop on that note, because they, they're not really necessarily aware of where that note is in the score because sometimes it's really important to stop on a specific note to gain security with it. But if your teacher asks you to start a certain place, assume they want you to keep playing unless they stop you or instruct you to play a smaller section. So those are just five lesson fails, and if you avoid those, you will have more productive lessons, I promise you. So take it to heart, and it's meant in a positive spirit, all right? And anybody who's got other lesson fails, leave it in the comments here on livingpianos.com or YouTube. And again, thanks for all you subscribers and Patreon subscribers. This is what keeps me motivated. The fact that you are interested in this content. I'll have more for you as long as you keep letting me know that you like these videos. We'll see you next time.